We got a chase down Lunar Lunar right now. What is going on? Rather productive for an opening act. What splendid anger you've shown me, girl. If it should blossom into hatred. Oh, but how happy he will be. Who is she? I've waited so long. Indeed, the time is ripe for both of us. Wait, Dazzle! She's not a Hellion! Like I give a damn. You turn my friends into Hellions and drag the name of the Windriders through the mud? What are you talking about, Dazzle? <laughs> Do you mean to say that the girl still doesn't know? D Splendid. Oh, how splendid. <laughs> the perfect scene has been set. Jessel, no! Let me go. This moment is what I've been living for. Everyone stop. This whole thing is wrong. Saray, Dazzle, what's going on? Dear, dear girl, let me fill you in. In a desperate effort to preserve and continue the Windriders, who were his last concrete connection to his dead comrade. This Seraph abused your remarkable resonance to periodically commandeer your body, steering you all into the darkness, recreating the Windriders as an assassin's guild. <clears throat> then, in his quest to kill a Hellion, he set his sights on the power of the Armatus, using you over and over as a vessel to enact his vengeance. It was all right, he thought. It was all to avenge his friend. I do wonder if you agree. <gasps> That's right. And to take my revenge against you, I would do it all again in a heartbeat! That's enough, creepy little girl, for now. Yeah, there's something wrong about all of this. Let's get out of here! I think not. She became a Hellion? Why? If words alone won't make you remember... Well, like I said, I'm flexible. So, you show your true colors at last. Dang it! Alright. Something tells me that this is gonna be a difficult... Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> she is level 50. Oh, she doesn't really have that much health though. Hmm. And nobody is distance and weakness. And unknown type of enemy over here. Well, she's definitely a boss, but still. Um, That's the only reason I live. Oh, how lost you are in the delusion of self-affirmation. What are you saying? It's quite pitiful, really. Though I do understand how you got like this. Oh man. Okay. Um. All right. So let's see about this one. Let me just, uh, as usual, try to get some BG over here. And uh, what what the world is she doing? She's she's shooting with uh, laser eyes over here. <laughs> All right, uh, Rose, you better be careful over there. Time to attack him a little bit. Uh, okay. Time to go over here. Ah! Damn it! I wanted Rose to get out of the way. Why did you lose your friend after killing a Hellion? What happens to its malevolence? Are you really so sure you want this to be your vengeance? Shut up! Aim and fire! Ocean Blitz! Try and remember. Was it by my doing that you lost your friend? Why is it you're so attached to the Windriders? What is it you're truly after? I've had enough of your crap! No. Lila, get ready to purify her! Not this time. I'm gonna kill her! Dizzle! What? You mustn't! 
There's no other way. No! He's broken the path? Dazzle! Tisk, tisk. I can't let you do that. What? But why? Saray, this isn't the time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, oh my goodness. I can manipulate the senses of others, deceive them through illusions. So when it looked like you'd suddenly turned into a hellion, my bow is ahead! Yeah, you just say whatever you have to say, I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> In just one fell swoop. Oh, we still have. Uh, okay, all uh, more people showed up. More, more of you, whatever your name is. I don't even know your name. I guess they are just gonna keep popping here. Use the authority of the Prime Lord to stop Dazzle. I can't. The Sub Lord has broken the pact. Can that even be done? Not usually. It can't be done from the Sub Lord's side. My, my, this is getting interesting. All right. I guess it is a good thing that I'm fused with, uh, with uh, Miku over here. This certainly does the job well. There is something you should know, Shepard. What? Let me show you exactly what mischief your Sarah friend has wrought. All right. Well, oh my lord, how many, how many of them do I gonna have to fight him? Something tells me that if I do like a wrong move here. They give his blessing. That's all. But not every blessing of the Seraphim is one that brings fortune to the people. Finally. Finally, I can kill you! Die! I really, really enjoy traveling with them. We're so lucky. Yeah, I'm truly grateful. And of course, I want to bring the Wind Riders under Rolens's wing. You're the greatest in the land. But engagement to you, Prince Conan? It's like a dream. I'm sorry to see our journey end, but all's well that ends well. No. I don't want this to end. Don't let up out there! Go! Prince Conan! The captain is missing! Get away from her right now! <laughs> Who are you to order me around? He's... he's already a hellion! Huh? Who are you talking to? You all smell so... So delicious! It's driving me wild! How could he have completely turned into a Hellion in such a short amount of time? Your Highness, what is this nonsense about us killing the first Imperial Prince? Guards! The traitor scum are here! A trap, huh? You sick lunatic! How can this be? It appears that Brad, the leader of the Windriders, has murdered the Prince. He is already in custody of the Pendrago City Guard. All other Windriders are likewise under arrest. Understand? It's all because Prince Conan became a Hellion, and at the urging of his Hellion greed, he sought to eliminate all hindrances. And by now, I imagine that you've already guessed what made him a Hellion. Have you not? Him. Him. 
I might be willing to pardon you, at least, if you'll agree to be mine. What? <laughs> oh, come now. You'd be the kept woman of the heir to the throne! A greater honor does not exist. <sighs> Why you? Come on! Your blessing. Do you have any idea what people call those with this kind of power? Angels of death. It was <laughs> all my fault. <laughs> all my fault. Looks like someone finally remembers his past. Rose! Jessel! Move it! <laughs> and now the real fun starts, Shepard. Pay close attention. Dazzle, don't move. Got it? Why you? You mustn't! Rose is horribly wounded. Even if you purify the malevolence, she doesn't have the strength to handle the burden. All right. You mustn't attack now. Rose will... If we don't do anything, Rose will become a Hellion. Except her wounds will kill her even before that happens. A Shepherd is faced with difficult choices sometimes. Isn't that right? What? Better decide quickly, Shepherd. Your darling comedian doesn't have long. Silence! Um, what? Okay, so I'm not supposed to attack right now. I guess I want to wait a little bit. Okay, you're starting to get back for a moment. I have a plan. What? Oh, Shepard, do quit your desperate flailing about. You risk making a mess of the grand stage I spent all this time preparing. Sorry. Listen. Tessel, don't push yourself. Just listen to me. We have to... <laughs> sever the bond between Rose and the Hellion. Even for the Shepard, that would be nothing short of a miracle. It's impossible. Saray, <clears throat> hand me that thing you cut from Savid. It can fire strength itself, right? And I shall be that strength. I shall be your attack. What do you mean? Even as he is absorbed into the Hellion, he'll become an attack with a will of its own. He'll find the bond between Rose and the Hellion and sever it without hurting her body. But that's just suicide! If I can summon up the last reserves of my strength and merge them with the power stored in this one remaining bullet, I can stay myself long enough to break the bond while leaving Rose untouched.
Serai. Neither Rose nor I can afford to waste any more time. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Jessel? No! Counting on you. Don't mess this up! Alright. While wind armatized press shift, alright, alright. Okay. Uh. Rose, I'm so sorry. It was me. I caused you, the Wind Riders, everyone to suffer. It's all my fault. That's what was bugging you? I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life. Five years ago, when everything went pear-shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy. In fact, I'm grateful to you. Really. Hey, come on. There's got to be more you want to say. I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. And that one right thing made everything else worthwhile. I'm eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. Yeah. Tell Saray and the others that it wasn't all bad. Romping around those ruins with all those nutballs. I will. And if they get bummed out about this... Tell them, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. And then, give them a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. Hey, you're not saying that. No. Good luck out there. Keep on keeping on. Rose! Oh, thank goodness! So, how does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? Was not his very existence evil to the core and deserving of extermination? Lies! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the Shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> Who are you, anyway? I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable seraph, burdened with countless sins. <sighs> and now, Exeunt. Wait! 
I suggest you make time to grieve. Oh, Dazzle. Dazzle is gone, isn't he? I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <laughs> I need a bit of a walk myself. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that was totally something. Um, yeah, I guess Dazzle is gone, isn't he? No, oh, poor Dazzle. No! Oh, Dazzle! Ah, his lust for revenge got him all the way over here. And he got killed. <sighs> and the thing is, I think that was like a decision as well. I think that either... Rose was about to die if I were to attack uh, Simone, or it would be Dezel. And it was Dezel who died. No, oh, man. I had such great times together. For the love of God. Miklio, do we have something to say? Please, tell me that he is not dead. Tell me that he is not dead. Dezel's death, his shameful acts. And the thing Simone said. God dang it. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. He is dead. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. Eh, I guess it is the way it is. Let's keep going. Our journey to find our answers is not over yet. Surely isn't, and it's definitely not the time to quit. It is definitely not the time to quit, even though... <laughs> Dazzle! Why? <laughs> Dazzle, I... There's somebody on the bridge, or I wouldn't say it's a bridge, but... Rather... Are they all... Are all my companions dispersed this way? <laughs> like, they're all in, like, different locations over here. You know, I think that they would be all in the inn, but... Apparently not. Edna, what do you have to say? You no longer have any comments about uh, the wind trial and such. About how the wind spins and spinny and the spinny thing wins like the windy wind Our and friend, such. A creepy little girl. She said she was burdened with sins. Right. And she also said that the shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna, stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother, either! So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before, anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's nothing to discuss. Yeah. Uh. 
Saray. All I was really trying to say is that I think Dazzle was saved in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. Thank you, Edna. Don't mention it. <laughs>